so much money laundering of two billion in assets you know were acquired to illicit activities they want to think about that hey my people bless up bless up welcome back to the channel it's your girl anissa bell rose thanks to all new subscribers thanks to the returning subscribers if you're new to the channel subscribe turn the post notification bell on so you won't miss an upload from me on the road to 10k help me to get there my people so in this one my people the FATF, you know, I make with no say, the Andrew Oldness led government slash finance minister Nigel Clark has failed once more. And here, with them fail with my people. So, according to, you know, excerpts from the Gleaner, the FATF again expresses concern that Jamaica failed. To complete its action plan which fully expired in january 2022 the group said as a week-long meeting of members and observer organizers including the international monetary fund so you know the andrew owners led government says that they are confident that it will meet a new deadline of October 2023 to bring Jamaica's anti-money laundering and countering of the financing of terrorism regime up to international standards and avoid being blacklisted. So them they're on the verge of being blacklisted, my people. The assurance comes from, you know, the Minister of Finance, Nigel Clark, following Friday's latest warning from the Financial Action Task Force, the Global Intergovernmental Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing Watchdog, whose standards are followed by more than 200 countries. So the FATF strongly urges Jamaicans to swiftly demonstrate significant progress in completing its action plan by October 2023. Or the FATF will consider next steps, which could include calling on its members and urging all jurisdictions to apply enhanced due diligence to business relations and transactions with Jamaica. So people, they're on the verge of, you know, not doing any business, so to speak, with Jamaica. As a result, Jamaica remains grey listed, not blacklisted yet, you know, people, grey listed among jurisdiction under increased monitoring, which means a country has committed to resolve swiftly the identified strategic deficiency within agreed time frames. Jamaica has had the designation since at least February 2020 and continue to be non-compliant, right? And that could result in an Irish jurisdiction where the country is blacklisted and nobody now go and do no pharma business with them, so to speak. And that, my people... We can analyze so that I can put a further dent in the whole economy. You understand? So they need to step up them game. Finance minister, you need to step up your game. They're wasting money here, there, and everywhere, except to do what is really needed and necessary to be done. A billion dollar was paid out to a firm for just a report under which they took increases for themselves up to 300 percent increases and a billion jamaican dollars was paid out to a firm for just just that simple task let me know when you think my people drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel subscribe so um based on the whole of what was said you know, the opposition minister on finance, Julian Robinson, came out and he said, quoting, this can significantly slow down the pace at which transactions are settled, which will impact the efficiency of business relationships. 
He also quoted that I call on the government to immediately address the outstanding matters and ensure that there is no further negative consequences for the country. Jamaica is among 26 countries on the latest FATF grey list. For the 18th month period up to June last year, Jamaican financial investors tracked down nearly 2 billion assets they believe were acquired through illicit activities. The assets mainly real estate were included 27 assets for feature or money laundering investigations completed by the financial investigative um division tell me what you think my people for see that um so much money laundering of two billion in assets you know were acquired to illicit activities. Tell me what you think about that. Drop some comment in the comment section. And tell me what you think, my people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. On the road to 10K. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, my people. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the membership of the channel. You get a lot of benefits, special stickers to work with. To stand out above the other subscribers in the comment section we do notification shout out in each video to be a part of that you have to be the first to comment and like the video and you'll be featured in the following video to come this notification shout out goes to conroy michael big up yourself conroy michael thanks to all of the support from each and every subscriber if you're new subscribe Come on board, journey with me, join the family. Stay tuned for the next video. Big up on yourself.